We are Jess and Jesse, a couple of opera singers building a Ford Transit van into our own custom tiny home on wheels. So far, we've had many ups and downs. Well, that only took five years. Look what I did. Way to go, guys. Thank you. But we're determined to keep going and construct the first interior feature of the van, a partition wall with sliding doors. That's the way it goes with the van build. It's always tomorrow that we're going to finish. All right, guys, um, <laughs> the van is getting a little crowded. <laughs> uh, see this? I mean, we have to pack it up every night, out, obviously, but we have, and I'll show you the back here in a minute, we have begun to receive uh, what is the beginning a, of a, like, waterfall of shipments that we're going to be getting over the next uh, probably week or so. Um, you can see the back here. Uh, and then all this stuff down here. So it's um, definitely stuff coming along. It's really exciting. Uh, I just gotta, I guess now we have to figure out if we know what to do with all the things that we thought we needed to buy. Today I can show you what I couldn't yesterday cause it was way too dark, but look at what we did. Voila. Put all the soundproofing in. We did a little t sound test and it's pretty decent um, so far. Of course, it'll get a lot better as we put more things in here, but uh, it looks pretty nice, eh? Didn't break the window. I'm not gonna break that the window. That would be awful. I would have to be so powerful with this no. thing. No. No? No, I've spider cracked a windshield by accidentally hitting it with my fist. That feels pretty strong. Yeah. Good. You want to do that side? Sure. Et voila. We got some little brackets to put a shelf on now. So here we have our template for the shelf. So literally all I should, all we should have to do is just tape this down and saw it up. We're getting new blades, y'all. Bring you over here. Come with me and you'll see a world of something Your imagination. imagination. Something, I don't know. <laughs> I ruined it. Probably with a few adjustments to be made, but let's go try it out. We got our board. Now what's happening is our measurements were off from the template, I guess. Uh, the, the template didn't measure what we thought it measured. I think I misunderstood what it was saying. Because these are these are great. They're just too far back. Yeah. Let me just push the whole thing forward. But we have to finish the wall to find out how much of this extra we have. We weren't even planning on doing this today, so this is just a bonus. Boners. A boners. <laughs> Don't put that in. I'm going to start measuring the doors for our partition wall. And I hope I do this right. Sick. Power tools, yeah. Doesn't look good. It looks like it's my rain. It looks like that. That's not good. It already feels like it's raining just because the air is so moist. Yeah. Actually, no, I'm feeling, I'm feeling droplets now. Oh, it's raining more now. All right. I'm gonna put the camera away. I love this. Heck yeah. It's gonna go in here. I'm gonna be a mirror. This is what it looks like. Fit. Da 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 da. There was just a bumblebee on my mirror. It was so cute. All right, now I'm gonna sand down my doors before I cut the foam and put them all together into some beautiful sliding doors. So 
if I didn't explain before, the foam board, this beautiful purple stuff here, is an insulation board and it's going to be sandwiched in between two pieces of thin plywood um, that are going to be the finish for our sliding doors so that they're fairly light and they're still going to have an insulating effect so that when we close off our cab we can be as insulated as possible from heat or cold. Um, yeah, pretty sweet. Hey guys, it's a beautiful day. I've got the moonshade up to keep me protected from the sun. We are behind, we have a lot of work to do. Um, it's been raining for about 10 days, so I'm super excited to get some work done on the van. So, quick sweep out the inside, and let's get to work. All right, I'm in the process of getting the facing of the partition wall cut, and then maybe hopefully mounted. doing well today. I think I just drilled into the... God damn it. Oh, watch me. I didn't drill into the bottom. Ah, freaked out for no reason. Looks like it's a good initial cut. I just need to, like, figure out how to scribe it to this wall now. I've been working on the scribing it out so it fits the wall. Let's see. I think that looks pretty good. For now. I'll... Let Jess take a look at it and see if she's good with that, and then we can bolt her in and move on to other things. How are you? How's it going? Slow, because all the batteries for the power tools are in the bag, so oh, I've been yeah. using hand tools so far. Well, I have the bag. Good. You know what I don't have? What? The one thing I was supposed to bring. Oh, the fabric? Yeah. yeah. That's okay. Smart boy. Yeah. Don't slime me though. He's a slimy boy. He is a slimer. He slimed my leg already. It's um, like you can see it dripping. Gross. Yeah. Get away from me. That's, no, I'm gonna rub no. it off. Oh. Yeah. This is just gonna be the lip um, on the edge of our shelf. Yeah. Just to make sure like Nothing flies out of there. It's pretty small at the moment, so it's not it's not huge, but I think it's a good. Thank you. Okay, Diablito, let's see how it went. Oh, look at that nice cut. Dude, Diablo cuts the best. I think so. Yeah. Does that look good? That's okay. That's good. <laughs> That's good to me. We're gonna cover our cab shelf in some fabric that I had lying around the house that's been sitting around needing a, a purpose for probably like, I don't know, 15 Ten years, years or something. So I decided, yeah, whatever, we'll, we'll try this out. Oh boy, it's raining out there. <sighs> We're like 10 minutes away from being finished with the project and then it started pouring. So we had to throw everything in in the middle. Like I had already laid a line of glue down on, on the shelf. It was just like abandon ship and throw everything inside. Wet cardboard and yeah, it went from being sunny and hot to pouring in like three minutes. Yeah, and that's what it did. Uh, I hate Houston in the summer. You look very professorial and owlish. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I'm putting this away and I'm going home. I'm not waiting this out or whatever. I got everything glued. Well, as you can see, it's setting to dry right now. The bolts that Vancelary provided us are not long enough. What's up with that, Vancelary? See that? That's the shelf. All it needs to do is be bolted in. Otherwise, it's ready to go. Guten Tag. 
what do we got? We got cabinets, we got partition wall, we got the headliner shelf, we gotta put the wall back in, and then maybe rebuild the doors today. Yeah, I've kind of given up on a plan. I'm just sort of like, let's just do as much as we can do. Just keep putting in the work every day. Yeah. Just get your butt to the van and do what you need. <laughs> yeah, and the rest will fall into place. Months down the road. Yeah. Yesterday, I couldn't get the vancillary bolts to go all the way through the shelf. Vancillary recommends that you make a half inch ply shelf or a half inch shelf, um, which we did. However, this screw is about a half an inch already. And uh, so that's like the entire thickness. There's not really much, you know, area for the nut to attach. Um, so we had to go to Home Depot and get some longer ones today. So I'm gonna try these and see if those work out. Well, I got them all in. That's the good news. So show us, Vanna, what we have. A 1950s chic green textured fabric headliner, custom made from Jess and Jesse. I'm very thankful to have my day job. I don't plan on giving it up because there's a lot of people looking for work. I'm you don't plan to, have to it. give it up to be Vanna White? Nobody can be Vanna White. That's she's true. not a human being. She's a legend. Yeah, she's a, a robot. She's got to be a robot. <laughs> she hasn't changed in like 50 years. Yeah. I, it's yeah, I don't you know. You go, Vanna. Yeah, I, I mean, no, yeah, all love for Vanna White, don't get me wrong. Meanwhile, outside the van, conferring about our next steps. <laughs> I took off the plastic, um, because that was what was causing them to come apart. Yeah, heck with that stuff. Several things could have happened. One is that the uh, adhesive we used sat in a hot shed for like a couple months and the adhesive isn't doing its job properly. Second potential uh, reason this didn't work and a very likely one is that we didn't take the, pla the protective plastic off of the foam board before we attached it, which I didn't realize was maybe something that you're supposed to take I off. I don't think so. No? But generally you're not gluing these things to anything. Right. Usually they're just in there and I'm assuming it's part of a, a water vapor barrier. resist. Right. So anyway, that caused problems because then it just started peeling immediately. I don't know what to do right now. These doors are a conundrum. I'm not going to go into the details because it's too complicated, but I might try and figure out a way to salvage them rather than redo them. So I'm going to experiment on this piece of board right here, which I have drilled some holes into. I've got some twine. I'm going to come up with a decorative and functional solution, we hope, and if not, I'm going to have to redo the doors, so let's hope it works. This plastic right here did not stick to the wood, although it stuck to the mirror remarkably well. So we got to redo all this. You okay? I thought that might happen. Look what I did. It's kind of pretty but it's shattered glass so no i gotta get a new mirror dang it i just snapped the mirror i thought i had it yeah this is really stuck on there if only it had stuck to the wood this wall this is a wall a vertical structure delineating one space from the next It'd be the wall where you can sit on the couch and lean on it and relax on it and it can support you in the days when you don't have the support for yourself. Let's see your best model up. Oh, work it, work That's what I have. it. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Okay, that hurt my hip. Drilling holes in this C channel. It's gonna be bolted to the ceiling up at the top, and that's gonna be the upper track for our sliding doors that will separate the cab from the living space. Look at that. Beautifully flush. Flush enough. Good job. Thunder. I'm impressed. I think this has turned out okay. Good. I think it's good. I think that's going to work. Perfectly. Beautifully. It looks fantastic. 
we got a partition wall in. We got our doors getting, they're getting there. Yeah. They're not quite ready yet. We got to get a, <laughs> a replacement mirror. <laughs> and we got to lay the track in the bottom. That's going to be like this metal one up here. But overall, not bad for a day's work. All right, I got everything glued up and fried. Now I gotta drill a couple holes. More than a couple, a lot of holes. All right, they're prepped. I gotta paint them tomorrow. That's all that's left to do. And there it is. Does it look like night blooming jasmine? So while Jess was over there painting, I was preparing these guys to be installed. Prepared them with uh, holes for the screws and countersink so that they lay flush so when we're sliding the doors back and forth they glide over really smooth like. All I gotta do is route this floor out now which is gonna be tricky and you get one shot at it. You don't wanna mess it up so I'm gonna have to figure out some sort of guide or jig so that we can guide it and go straight and true. Here we go. have to like even some of this out but that's pretty good it is installed we've got this beautiful track and we've got this beautiful track and we've got this beautiful creature this project has seemed like it's, well, it has taken forever, but we lost about two weeks of work because uh, it was just raining almost every single day here. One of the joys of uh, living through hurricane season in Houston. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, we are excited to be almost finished with this project. We finally made a decision on paint. We're, we're making decisions. So all in all, we feel positive about this, even though it's taken us a little longer than we wanted, but that's okay. Brian's making fresh corn tortillas inside, and he might give us one if they're done by the time we leave. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm super excited about that. So, but I'm even more excited <gasps> about this. Yes! Oh yeah. We were just talking about you, and more importantly, that. We're still on, so I can't hang out for a bit. Oh, look at that, it's a blue corn tortilla. It's got... Yummy. Salt, corn, water. Blue corn? Awesome. And a single cayenne pepper. Oh. The flavor's great, very little. Mm-hmm. So good. So that's it. We're out. We'll see you tomorrow. And hopefully, we'll be done. Today's gonna be the day I can feel it. We're gonna finish this partition wall. It's gonna look awesome. What was that? I'm gonna get to painting. Yeah get to cabinets. Great, let's do it. We got this cool like ombre looking twine at the craft store. And we decided to go with this finish because it's both beautiful, I hope, when it's done. Um, and also it should help keep the trim. I mean, we glued the trim on, but we didn't have the proper clamps to like do it really well. So hopefully, this will also ensure that our trim doesn't fall off. So this is a Japanese book binding stitch, which you may have seen before. And uh, we have a, somewhat of a Japanese theme going on in our van. So it seemed apropos. I think it's looking good. I can't wait to see what it looks like as we, as we finish it. It's gonna get that whole gradation of color all the way down the whole side. It's gonna be really cool. Guess where I went. Mont Arandas. Cien por ciento taquitos. Oh, 100 percent taquito. Yeah, I nice. thought we'd try them out. And I got us a. I love them. I got us an al pastor torta to share. Oh yummy. 
Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. I just started <laughs> filming to get back to this again, but take a break to eat a taco. Cut my nylon tape that's gonna make everything slide good, slide well. And I'm gonna peel off, stick it on. Ah, we got rained out again. So annoying. It's like 15 minutes from finishing this dang door project. And Jesse was making great progress on the cabinets. Um, we had to just throw everything in the van. Ah, signing off yet again, another day, rained out. Here's hoping for better weather tomorrow. Surely the same mirror by the same manufacturer purchased in the same store from the same truckload of shipments should be the same exact size. So we have a problem. This mirror doesn't 100% fit in the cutout for our old mirror. It's the paint I think it's a the little paint. bit. Yeah, so we're going to have to do a little bit of finagling and hopefully a minimal amount of trimming. Third time's the charm. Or is that the third or the fourth time? This is like fourth the time billionth time. No, it's not. So first, it goes in like that. And then it goes in like that. Ta-da! I can see my outfits. The whole picture. But they slide really nicely on our track. And the great thing is that uh, we can take them in and out if there's any problem, like if something gets stuck down there or whatever. Now, the reason we decided not to go with the roller track is because we were like, well, what if we're driving along and our van's bumpy and it falls off the track and then we can't get it out to fix it. We got a full partition wall for privacy, insulation, and most importantly, fashion. I love it. Goodbye, people. So that was our partition wall and sliding door video. Um, it's a living, breathing animal, and we've been living it with it, and it's been breathing on us for like <laughs> since it's been put in. And there's been some uh, adjustments, and, which you'll be brought up to speed on later. But if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. That would mean so much to us, and it would really be the best way to help us out. Cheers. Cheers. Smash the subscribe button. <laughs> it gets me every time. No, we can't put that in.